Ruth, Ruth, three. Then Naomi, her mother-in-law, said unto her, My daughter, shall I not seek rest for you, that it may be well with you? And now is not Boaz of our kindred, with eth whose maidens you were? Behold, he winnows barley tonight, eth in the threshing floor. Wash yourself thereof, and anoint you, and put your raiment upon you, and get you down to the floor. But make not yourself known unto the man, until he shall have done eating and drinking. And it shall be, when he lies down, that you shall mark at the place where he shall lie, and you shall go in, and uncover his feet, and lay down. And he will tell you at what you shall do. And she said unto her, All that you say unto me I will do. And she went down unto the floor, and did according to all that her mother-in-law bade her. And when Boaz had eaten and drunk, and his heart was merry, he went to lie down at the end of the sheaf, and she came softly, and uncovered his feet, and laid her down. And it came to pass at midnight that the man was afraid, and turned himself, and behold, a woman lay at his feet. And he said, Who are you? And she answered, I am Ruth, your handmaid. Spread therefore your skirt over your handmaid, for you are a near kinsman. And he said, Blessed be you of Yahuwah, my daughter, for you have showed more kindness in the latter end than at the beginning, inasmuch as you followed not young men, whether poor or rich. And now, my daughter, fear not, I will do to you all that you require, for all the city of my people do know that you are a virtuous woman. And know it is true that I am your near kinsman, howbeit there is a kinsman nearer than I. Tarry this night, and it shall be in the morning that if he will perform unto you the part of a kinsman, well, let him do the kinsman part. But if he will not do the part of a kinsman to you, then will I do the part of a kinsman to you, as Yahuwah lives. Lie down until the morning. And she lay at his feet until the morning, and she rose up before one could eth another, rather, before one could know eth another. And he said, Let it not be known that a woman came into the floor. Also he said, Bring the veil that you have upon you, and hold it. And when she held it, he measured six measures of barley, and laid it on her, and she went into the city. And when she came to her mother-in-law, she said, Who are you, my daughter? And she told her, Eth all that the man had done to her. And she said, These six measures of barley he gave me, for he said to me, Go not empty unto your mother-in-law. Then she said, Sit still, my daughter, until you know how the matter will fall, for the man will not be in rest until he have finished the thing this day.